pronouns. So pronouns are an interesting issue, uh, and there's there's a lot of misinformation out there. Um, the, one of the conversations I keep hearing, I got an email to this effect today, is that uh, we need to allow kids to use their pronouns, and um, we do. We don't deny the use of pronouns. Students, if they choose different pronouns than what they uh, have their parents put into Skyward or what, then tell us and we'll use them. That's been clear all the way along. Listen, there's no denial. Um, the, uh, Sky, if, if it's in doubt, Skyward provides that, that information. Um, you know, and one of the other components of this is family. Um, I hear a lot in the news, there's a lot of news reports about uh, school districts hiding things from their parents. I'm a parent. My children attend, my last daughter attended this school. I would expect to know what things are going on. If my kid was late to school a lot, tardy, I'm going to get a phone call. Hey, how come, we, how come, how come Emily's late? What can we do about this? Right? It's not so stern. It's tardy, right? I'm, I'm going to call on a minor issue like tardies, but then I would hide a gender or pronoun change. It doesn't make sense. So we collaborate with families. We work with families. Um, the state, and I, I, I don't always see eye to eye with the state on several things. But some of the language we receive talk about the need for determining whether parents are, are supportive or dangerous. That's the language they use. I'm not here to determine whether you're supportive or dangerous. I'm here to collaborate with you on reading, writing, math, and science so our kids can learn and grow. You're, they're your children, not mine. Amen. And um, you're the first teacher. You have them before we get them. And so those formative years are really important. And we need to honor that. Um, and I know not everybody sees or agrees with that. And uh, that's the challenge. As a school, we're here to support all children, uh, regardless of how they identify. If they choose a, a different identification, great. Tell us, we'll work with them. We'll collaborate with you and partner with families uh, and go from there. And if you have uh, the procedure, 3211P, uh, it's on our website. It's been adopted by the board. It's been, uh, and you can see there's, there's uh, read through. There's good information on there about how we support families and working with families um, as we move forward. Yeah, if my um, child, if my child comes to a teacher at the elementary school and says that he wants to go by different pronouns than our Skyward, is the new practice now that you will, the teacher will inform me, the parent? So the question is if her child comes to the teacher and says I'd like to be referred by a different pronoun, is a practice that the teacher would call the parent. Actually, the practice would be to go talk to the counselor and the principal, and then connect, uh, and then between the student and the, the, basically team and connect with the family, so they're aware. Like in a meeting, everyone together. And again, we want to use it, like, so, but we also want you to know. We want you to be aware, so it's not, not hidden, or some idea that we're, we're not looking at the parents. Good question, thank you.